Today, we're going to learn about the three uses of the using statement. You know the deal. Like and subscribe. So this is one of those questions that's usually asked by Seymour. Seymour is that guy in the job interview who thinks he knows everything and really does. He's been with the company for 8 to 12 years, and he probably wrote the software that you're being hired to fix or maintain. So he always wants to see more of what you can do. His main objective is to make sure that nobody gets hired if he thinks they're going to ask him stupid questions all day. So he's going to be asking a lot of gotcha questions. One of them could be, hmm, what are the three uses of the using statement? <laughs> Okay, don't panic. You've probably used the using statement at least once. The three uses are dispose an object, create aliases or import types in a namespace, and import methods of a static class. Let's take a look. So let's say I want to create a file stream. So first, I'm going to create the file stream provider. The next thing I want to do is open the stream reader using the using statement. And here's what this guarantees. This guarantees that after I do the reading and after I do all the stuff I'm going to do in the file, the file stream is automatically closed, and the, anything that's in memory is released back into the system for the garbage collector to grab. So the first use of the using statement is it implements iDisposable and defines the scope after which the object will be destroyed. Now here's the second use. It allows you to use types in a namespace so you don't have to fully qualify the types in that namespace. So let's take a look at String Builder. This is a perfectly valid way for me to uh, declare a string builder. But I don't want to type this whole thing all the time. This is a lot of text. So I want to just be able to say string builder. But I can't. Visual Studio will yell at me. So the potential fix? Using system.txt. We're letting Visual Studio know about this namespace so we don't have to write it out all the time. Now, you can also do the same thing to create aliases of really long namespaces. So let's say our company is committed to using this third-party graphing software from CrapTech. And their namespace with their third-party graphing software is huge, absolutely huge. But we need to implement crap graph and draw a crappy sprite. So when we head back up to our program, we implement this, the, the namespace is absolutely huge. Just implement crap graph. But we can alias this. So here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to go up to where all the using statements are. And I'm going to take the namespace, and I'm going to assign it to crap tech. Now when I want to create a crappy graph, all I have to do is reference crap tech, crappy graph, and I don't even need this whole namespace anymore. The second use helps prevent you from typing out long namespaces either by aliasing or referencing that namespace. And the third use is the using static directive, which allows you to import methods of a single class. So system.math is probably the most famous static class, but let's say I want to get the absolute value of something. I have to type out system.math.absolute everywhere. But if I take system.math and I say using static, add system.math in there, I can directly reference absolute value. And now this will work for any method that's on system.math. So the third use is using static. If you're ever asked a question about the three uses of the using statement, I like to use the mnemonic dispose a named sister. This stands for dispose an object, add a namespace, or static import single class. Good luck on your next interview.